Question 13. So obviously we've got to work out the area down here. So let's just first of all think about a strategy of doing this. So what I'm going to think about, look, I'm made up here. I've got like two parts to it. I've got a nice right angle triangle here. I know this point here is E. And I've got the area under a curve just here. So, so this part, first of all, will be going to integrate. The upper limit is E. I don't know what that point is there just yet. So I'll fill that in in a moment. And then we got X and X dx. So that's going to be one part of the question. Obviously, we've got to work out that part there. And then here, well, I know that height there, that's E. I need to know this point over here. So that's going to be a challenge. Right? I need to work out what this point is here. So in order to work out what this point is, I need the equation of this line here. Now, it tells me that this equation here is normal. So what I can do is I could work out the gradient of this line, right, a tangent to our curve. So that's what I'm going to have to do, right? So I'm going to have to differentiate x ln x. So let's differentiate that first of all. So got y equals x ln x. So if I differentiate that, I'm just, I'm just going to use product rule. So we've got u equals x v equals ln x. If you just write all of this down, it's just like it's just so much easier to do. dv equals 1 over x. Hopefully you remember the product rule. We can have u dv plus v du. So just piece this together. What do we end up with? So we got this one times this one plus this one times this one. So that gives you so dy over dx is going to equal 1 plus ln x. OK, so what's the gradient when x is equal to e? So I want to sub in x equals e. So 1 plus ln e. Well, that equals 2. So the gradient of the tangent is 2. So the gradient here has got to be so the gradient here has to be minus a half. So that's got to be our gradient. So what's the equation of that line? So the equation of that line is going to be so we've got y minus our, our y, so we've got a coordinate and we've got a, so we've got a coordinate and we've got gradient of that line. So if we just feed those into the equation of a straight line, we've got y minus e equals minus a half x minus e. Just tidy that up a little bit and we're going to end up with 2y equals minus x plus 3 E, okay, multiply both sides by 2, probably is probably the easiest thing to do that. Okay, so how's that going to help us? Well, what we're interested in, if we look at this, is when y is equal to 0. So when y is equal to 0. So when y is equal to 0, what will x be? So if that's 0 plus x to both sides, so therefore x would have to be 3e. So we know that that point there must be 3e. So therefore, this distance is 2e. So therefore, the area of the triangle, e times 2e times a half, is just going to be, that's just going to be e squared. So we know that bit. Right, let's now get to work on not this part here. Remember, we need to know what this point is just here. So in other words, when is x ln x equal to zero. Well, there's two possibilities. When x is zero, so that's that's that point, right? We're not really interested in that one. We're interested in this one over here. So in other words, when is ln x 
equal to zero, and that's when x is equal to one. So that point there must be one. So let's pop that in there. Right, so here is now the important part of the question. So, and then we just need to add it to e squared when we're done. So we now need to go and do that. So the hard thing with these, with these is just like pulling out what is the actual question that we're really trying to do. So here we go. So that's where we are now. So I think probably the best thing here is I'm going to do this by parts. Um, so I've got something a little bit awkward to go and... Uh, and try and integrate. So what you should remember is, is this part just here. Okay, that's by parts, right? Now let's write down what u is and what dv is. So I'm going to go with u to be ln x and then I'm going to have dv is obviously going to equal x. So now I can just try and fill out what the other parts are there and then let's just go with it so that's one over x and then this part here must be x squared over two okay let's just piece all that together all right just put it all in together what have we got so we're gonna have uh so we're gonna have u so we've got ln x we've got v so we're gonna multiply that um by x squared over two x squared over 2, and then we're going to take away, we need to integrate, so we've got v, so that's x squared over 2, and 1 over x, and then that's with respect to x. So what we're going to now have, look, we can just, we can simplify this bit over here, so x cancels quite nicely, so that's just x over 2, so it actually gives me something here quite neat to be able to integrate. I can do that. So if we integrate this part here, we're going to have x squared over 4. Let's bring this bit down. So we've got ln x, we've got x squared over 2, well, that's multiplied together, and we've got a minus in there, and we now need to put the limits in of e and 1. So if we pop those in, right, again, it just, it looks kind of harder than it really is, right? Let's just go with it. So we're going to put e in. So just write the whole thing out. We've got ln e, e squared over 4, take away e squared over 4, take away, and let's just pop in 1. So we've got ln 1, and then 1 squared over 2. So that's just a half and take away a quarter. Right, let's just tidy it up. Let's get rid of the bracket, really. Okay, so what's that going to give us now? So we've got e squared over... So ln e, that's just that's just 1. Right? Looks scary, but it's nothing, really. Um, so what's this going to give us here? We've got e squared over 2, take away e squared over 4. Um, this part, ln 1, so we should know ln 1 is 0. You can just try it out in the calculator if you're not too sure. And then we've got, so that's going to turn into a plus quarter. Um, so e squared over 2, take away e squared over 4. So that's going to be e squared over 4 plus a quarter. Don't forget to add in the e squared for the triangle. And piece all that together. And what have we got? We've got 5e squared over 4 plus a quarter. There we are.